Will robots ever replace recruiters? No way! Find out in this video the top five things AI cannot do, but we can. Hey, welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your millionaire recruiter. And if you haven't yet seen this channel before, it's all about making you the next millionaire recruiter. So let's have fun. Okay, another amazing topic this week uh, that was inspired by you, the subscribers, the watchers. Thank you so much. I love all uh, the questions you guys give and how you inspire me all the time. So what we are going to talk about is can robots, machines replace us, recruiters? Uh, will our jobs become obsolete? I think we've seen a lot of industries where that has happened and that is not going to happen to us. I'm not just being optimistic, I'm just being real. And there's my top five reasons why AI um, can't take this over, but really to just sum it up real quick is because changing jobs, making moves in career is an emotional decision. People do put a lot of critical thinking, rational thinking in it, but at the end of the day, the reason why they go tell their current boss that they're out, pick up all their stuff, the pictures and the personal items on their desk and bring it to another one is an emotional decision. It's somewhere that you spend a lot of your time at. Sometimes people spend more time at work than they do at home. Emotional. <laughs> okay, so the top five things I think are gonna always hold strong are these. So number one, building relationships. I don't know about you, but I've never had a great relationship with a robot. <laughs> um, keep that to yourselves. No, but seriously, you can't really build a relationship um, or that computer cannot build a relationship with a candidate that you can as a human being. Plain and simple. Number two, a robot, AI, cannot see a candidate's potential past what's on the paper or what's on the computer. So we're looking at someone's LinkedIn, we can find common denominators um, that or interests that a computer just won't be able to pick up because they're not having those conversations. Does that make sense? So like you first have a conversation with your client, they give you the inside scoop um, on all this like inner, almost like interpersonal stuff, um, things not on the job description that they're looking for. You know, just there's a lot, a lot of meat there and you just can't possibly um, have that in AI. That just doesn't work. Okay. Number three, how do you know if they are a culture fit, culture ad, however you want to say it, uh, for that, that company, just like I spoke about the company are, every company is different and what they, what works for them internally, um, their communication skills, is not going to be the same. Every company has like their own lingo. So that AI cannot figure out. Number four, another thing AI, why AI cannot replace us is because they cannot gauge a candidate's interpersonal skills correctly. Um, again, this, this is kind of like trails off from like the culture ad, um, but you know, you're, you're, on, you're on the phone and um, again, you're building that relationship. You're finding out what's um, not on their resume that they're still really good at. You're finding their interests and you're able to like sway them into that right direction. Um, so like a lot of times you'll hear me say that you always have to um, really sell the company, whether it's the company, it's the role, it's the uh, management team. There's all sorts of reasons why people join jobs and you're not gonna know that based on what's on the, the computer screen. That's like, it's just, it's impossible. Lots of times we place people at companies, one, they never heard of, and two, they said no to originally. Huge. And number five, of course, a robot AI cannot close deals like we can. Uh, as a recruiter, you negotiate, um, you relate, you take information that you had from the intake, you bring it back, and you are actually able to sway, somewhat, <laughs> sway uh, a decision in a positive manner. So try doing that, robots. <laughs> All right, um, this one was really fun because it just validates why recruiters are so valuable, so sick, what a successful career it is, and why it's always gonna be a successful career. Fun. All right, so make sure you watch every Thursday at noon, like, subscribe, and do not forget that money is just a vessel to get you to do all the amazing things you wanna do. So go do it.